My name is Sean Brott. I'm a mechanical engineer. We design those hard drives uh, that basically store lots and lots of information and data. I work part-time as a fly fishing guide and instructor. Uh, I teach a lot of classes in the summer. I do guide part-time in the, in the summers and the spring and fall, um, mainly just with weekends since I, know I work a normal 40-hour week job. On the porch sits Uncle Joe He's been watching cars go by for 20 years And who's to know what keeps him there Is it the people that he knew when he was watching him And down to me So today we're going to go into Cheeseman Canyon. Uh, it's one of the premier sections on uh, the South Platte uh, here in Douglas County. Cheeseman Canyon, which is right here below Cheeseman Reservoir, and we'll be fishing in the canyon. As you come into Cheeseman Canyon, we have the Gill Trail. So the big thing that's really important to remember as you come in here is please stay on the trails. The rock and the landscape itself makes it very easy for erosion of the trails. So the work that's been done in here has been very important. It's actually the first trail restoration that's been done since the trail was put in in the 1970s. This is kind of neat water in here because you get a lot, of, uh, a lot of troughs, a lot of structure for this next 150 yards. And you can see in here, especially those spots where it's darker green, uh, are gonna be more likely where fish are gonna be holding. Often you'll find some bigger fish hanging out in here a little bit more in the, uh, the more turbulent water where it's deeper. One of my students once told me that they like to fly fish because it takes them to beautiful places. Now I felt like that was a pretty good remark for it. Uh, you know, when I'm fly fishing, I think about that and that only. Whether things are good in life or bad in life, you know, when you're on the water, you're just focused on fishing. My dentist would hate me or actually love me probably. I've been fly fishing for about 14 years and tying flies for about as, just as long. I grew up fishing the South Platte River, so I've spent a lot of time on it. Uh, it was a great river to spend a lot of time on. It was very technical and demanding, still is today. It really offers a lot of opportunities, everything from the headwaters with slow meandering streams, uh, the section between Low Mile and Spinney, and then into the Cheeseman Canyon and Deckers. Just a lot of technical nymphing. You can also find some good dry fly opportunities. I think some of the stuff that's really important uh, that we face today in Colorado in our fisheries and stuff, you know, just as 
you know, we do a lot of work with the conservation around the fire, that kind of stuff. It's just as important to be conscious of the conservation needs around our fisheries. We have a lot more people. It's important to, um, you know, practice catch and release and be smart about handling fish. And I think it's very important to be passing all those principles on to our children and making sure that they're going to be the stewards of the land in a hundred years. So we want to make sure that, uh, that they understand what's important to be preserving. It's always important when you're approaching a piece of water to take time to observe. You notice I'm standing further back from the, the kind of pool run here that I'm about to fish. Now there are some good fish at the tail out here. There's a nice fish just about a foot and a half off the bank. The best time to be out fly fishing is really any time. Now in the winters, the fishing is a lot slower. You have to fish the tailwaters. Uh, a lot of our other fisheries fish best in you know, late spring, summer, and fall. Uh, often you're looking for insect hatches where there's going to be increased activity. If you must go, just let me give you one smile to carry you a short while down the road. I understand the ground is burning beneath your feet. This town is full of dead end streets. His name is Gold. So I think we better give up. It's time that we give up It's time that we give up Before we fall And maybe I I could have been you everything Throwing water on the fires you bring Into our lives But I'm afraid This well is running dry, my dear your flames are creeping far too near Our hearts for love to thrive You know, while we are in Cheeseman, we had an opportunity to catch a lot of fish on nymphs and then uh, we spotted that fish that was uh, near the bank in the little back eddy uh, eating midges on, off the surface and had a chance to catch him. No more one more chance No You know, often in the afternoons in the summer we have got to be conscious of our uh, thunderstorms. Well, we better get moving. There's a thunderstorm coming in. Tonight I'm going to go up to uh, Goose Creek Campground and uh, camp up there near Lost Creek Wilderness. Colorado has an enormous number of small creeks all over. Um, the small creeks offer a pretty unique opportunity for you know, being pretty secluded and uh, small eager fish uh, often like to eat a dry fly. Today we'll be going into Lost Creek Wilderness to fish uh, the upper part of Lost Creek as it comes out of the wilderness area uh, which will later flow into Cheeseman Reservoir as Goose Creek. You're tearing me up with all your babies and your eyes don't know. You've been coming over almost every day And you know, I'm getting so used that you will want you to stay Now don't you know I love you so I've had an opportunity to go to New Zealand a couple times with some work travel to Thailand, done a little bit of fly fishing there and then also uh, Norway.
Now we're going to kind of run through some of the major insects. We have a golden stonefly nymph and the fly imitation for it. So again, we're tying flies to match the aquatic or adult stage of these insects that are in the river. Now midges basically look like tiny, tiny worms. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's a small mayfly nymph. Now it's just a small type of mayfly. These guys will probably hatch in the fall. This is an adult yellow stonefly, or yellow sally, which is a stonefly. It is the adult stage of this. We fish a lot of really, really tiny flies in the South Platte. Now, a great example of an imitation, maybe something like a very small green brassy. See what we're just trying to achieve with the shape and the segmentation being the same with that fly. Cool. One of the things I think that really stands out for Douglas County but with having the Deckers and Cheeseman Canyon uh, being part of it is we have such a premier trout fishery so close to a major metropolitan area that offers a, a fantastic opportunity for uh, anglers and it's uh, a thing that we really need to embrace and enjoy. I think some of the things that are really important for people to be aware of with fires is that they just need to be very conscious of, of everything that they're doing. It's so easy to go, go, go up home. Uh, the Heyman fire overall was the fire that started on June 8th in 2002 near Lake George, Colorado. Uh, it's actually the largest fire we've ever had in Colorado history and, and at some points during the fire it was the fastest moving fire in recorded history as well. damage to the fisheries in some ways with sedimentation by everything burning through. When we get rain and moisture, a lot of stuff runs down real quickly because the, uh, the topsoil is um, hydrophobic where it really won't absorb the moisture. So it just pushes a lot of debris right into the rivers. So there's a lot of increased sediment that gets into the stream. Any of the fire retardants, sometimes the chemicals from that will wash in. Uh, just a plain cheeseburger would be great. Yes, please. Please. Hi, I'm Larry Kelly. I work here part-time at the Sprucewood Inn. Cook, bartender, bottle washer, jack of all trades. Oh, great. You Thank you very much. You're welcome. Awesome. Enjoy. I think it's really important when we're fishing in, uh, we go fishing wherever, new location or, or a place we go to all the time. You get a chance to stop in, you know, see some friends you maybe even have in the area, but stop in and support the local economy. I mean, you're up there and, and the fishery is important to you. If you don't support that economy, there's not the people there that are going to help support the fishery either. So, 
you know, everything kind of works together and it's important to keep that in mind. Bruce Wood uh, menu uh, mostly can uh, consist of uh, hamburgers, cheeseburgers. We have very good burritos, excellent burritos, uh, nachos, uh, pizzas. Uh, it's a real basic menu because this is kind of a basic little bar up here. Colorado uh, Division of Wildlife has uh, you know, lots of rules and regulations for fishing, whether it's fin fishing, fly fishing. It's important to follow those. There's uh, specific regulations for each individual river system or in general for uh, some other rivers that are clumped together. Always be sure you're fishing with a fishing license unless you're that young enough not to have to have one. If you're trying to get into fly fishing, the best ways to go about it is if you have a friend or know someone that's willing to take the time to teach you. Somebody who's willing to mentor you has such a greater impact than taking a class or something like that, uh, taking a guided trip. But at the same time, if you don't have that, uh, enrolling in a class, getting involved with Trout Unlimited, get, it opens up a lot more doors or resources available for helping you understand what's involved with fly fishing and fly tying and um, helping you become a better angler. Maybe the two of us could get to 